Ryan, good to see you. I imagine confidence is pretty high in the team at the minute. Yeah, it is. I mean, obviously, the last few results after the um, Nottingham Forest game have been um, really pleasing. Obviously, we had the trip away um, to Marbella and we've come back from that and obviously won, won the games that we've had. So I think it was an important time to get away and the work we got in out there was really good. As I said, it was really hard and I think it's shown in the sort of performances and the recent results that we've had. Does it say a lot about the character of you guys as a team and a squad, the way you've come back from that Forest defeat? Yeah, I think we've done it all season. I mean, if you look at the results that have gone sort of bad for us. Um, I think we've always bounced back and we knew after the Forest game it would be important to do that and as I said we have and we just need to continue that from now until the end of the season. Because I think I said to Barry last week it, it feels weird describing it as a blip because can two games ever really be a blip? Yeah I know what you mean but it, it, it's still it, it's disappointing obviously when you're at the top you've obviously got a lot of people behind you and with a couple of results you notice it because only one of them has got to do well over that period of time as well and we knew it was important to keep the gap that we've got because we don't want it to get any smaller, we only want it to get bigger. And as I said, we take every game as it comes, and we want to go into every game and win it. And that's that's sort of that's that's the vibe that we've got, and that's the aim that we've got, and we want to go out there and do that. Because I think you've said before, it's about the standards that yeah. you set as a group. Yeah, and that's sort of imperative in what in what we're doing. I mean, after one defeat, we knew what we needed to do, and we wanted to get straight back on sort of the games and get winning again. And that's obviously what we've done at the minute. And as I said, we need to continue that, and we'll we'll be out there trying to do that. One of the things that I'm always interested in is when people talk about you guys being in the position you are and they say that teams raise their game to play against you. Is that true? Well, there probably is a certain aspect of it that is true. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> I mean there's plenty of us downstairs that have been, been in the situation of being maybe the underdog as what they would call it for the day. Um, and you do raise your game. It's, it's like a free game for them, really, as they see it. Um, but we know, we, can't, we know they're going to come here and do that. We know they're going to come here and give it their best. And, that's, that's what we've been used to all season now. So for us, it's important that we keep doing what we are doing. We work as hard as we are every day, day in, day out. And hopefully the results will come. And that's fortunately if they are, they us. And we're going to keep working hard to make sure they do. Because in a way, do you quite like that? Yeah, it's weird for me. I've probably always been on the other foot. But uh, yeah, to be honest, I don't think you think much of it. And I would say, I would say maybe being there <laughs> in the other, sort of on the other foot is more pressure on that than there is obviously with the teams that are coming in towards us. But... I think it gives you the sort of sharpen edge as well. You know, obviously people are talking about the teams that are coming in, sort of getting the edge and a bit sharper in, in the way they're coming to play and it's a free game. But at the same time, being on the other foot, we know that teams are coming to do that. So we, it gives us the edge, knowing that we have to be on our top form to win the games. And if we ain't, then we're going to lose. So I think it works both ways. And fortunately, as again, for us, we work hard. We have a game plan every sort of game and it's worked for us and we're going to continue to do that. Because one of the things you mentioned in there is pressure. And pressure can affect people in different ways. Yeah. And obviously, last couple of games, you've had massive sellout home crowds. You have fireworks when you walk out. It's all there. Now you're going away where it's a completely different atmosphere, but yet you're still going to have 5,500 Wolves fans there this weekend. Yeah, I mean, but as I said, I think, I think they've followed us well all season. Um, and there's been games where sort of they've been louder than the home team anyway. And I think this week it'll probably be the same. But as I said, it's, it's the same dimension of the pitch. And as I said, we go out there, we've done it plenty of times this season, we've gone away from home, maybe a little bit different with the fans sort of for the home team, getting them going a little bit more. But as I said, we'll have our game plan and we'll work as hard as we can, put into place what we want to do. And if we do do that, then we will get the result. Because how do you deal with pressure? Uh, I, think, I think it's every game as it comes, as I said before. I mean, we know the position we're in and we know where we want to be. And it's as simple as that, really. I mean, we know we have to be 100% every game to win it. And as I said, we, we've grinded games out this season. And we play well in games this season more than, more than often than not. But like, we know what we've got to do. I and mean, if we're not there, it's not going to work. So as a pressure, I think the pressure comes from ourselves as well. I mean, it, people don't see what sort of we're doing every day and the pressure that is on training every day and everything we're doing. So we're used to it in a day-to-day -day routine now. And as I said, the lads handle it. And as I said, I think everyone can see that in what we're doing. But it's every day. The pressure's every day here. You don't, you don't get away with sort of coming in, being half hearted and work like that. I was going to ask you about Norwich coming up because obviously it's the kind of the game you came back in for the yeah. start of your incredible run. But then I start, I start to think, well, I could then ask you about the next game after that, and the next game after that, because there are so many big games that mean so much to yeah, everybody. Yeah, I mean, squad. and that's the sort of problem that you've got. I mean, every every single game is massive, and as I said earlier, again, we're, we're taking every game as it comes, and we know that every win is massive now. And as I said, we're looking at the game on Saturday, then we obviously have the games on Wednesday and Saturday, but. At the minute to us, Saturday is the most important one. As I said, we'll go out there and we've got a plan and we want to get the three points.